just arrived to Chiang Mai. I literally the bus got in at six o'clock and now I'm just waiting for my grab to take me to a coffee shop because my check-in doesn't start till um, three o'clock I think and I just found the nearest available coffee shop that was open from seven o'clock which was this one so this is the ASIO it's like a little coffee shop alongside a hotel which I actually really like so today I'm booking into my retreat but it won't be available from three o'clock so I thought oh well might as well um, go get a massage so I'm really really lazy today so I decided you know what I'm gonna get a massage that's what I'm gonna do I just found one which is really good for two hours 1200 baht when I did my research before, there was one for 2,700 baht, but this one's cheaper, so I'm, I'm going to do this one instead, and it looks really nice. So yeah, I'm just waiting for a taxi now, and I've had two cups of coffee, and after this, I think I'm going to take a taxi to the, to the retreat center and then just chill there for the day. Oh my goodness so it took like one hour in the taxi because there's this big festival happening so um i'm so happy they got to squeeze me in so originally i'm gonna have a head massage oil massage and what's it called time massage and then i've asked for extra hour treatment which is a facial three hundred three hours um four treatments for under two thousand baht delicious cold coconut they give you what oils you want to choose so i'm choosing this one just arrived to well a few hours ago i arrived to my retreat and we did yoga restorative yoga and meditation I'm just about to journal um this is my home for the night for the next um four days which i'm really excited for uh we're just waiting for dinner so i'm just gonna journal Yoga starts at 7.30, but I decided to get up and just appreciate this beautiful morning. Like, where am I? Look at 
this. So this was a banana field that they basically bought due to COVID because all the yoga studios had to shut down. Um, this is 35 minutes from Chiang Mai, um, north from Chiang Mai. So we're proper in the mountains. Um, so I so I've had a bit of a whirlwind got to Thailand already. Um, this is the first time I'm picking up my GoPro because it's just been too hectic to even think about the GoPro and things like that. So today I'm going to do a full vlog with this GoPro. So I was doing my calculations last night in terms of like. Um, I kind of have a week unscheduled, which I didn't realize, but I do. So basically what I've decided to do is I'm gonna take two days as a work day and I just really wanna pull. So I'm gonna definitely go back to Chiang Mai, have a low budget day. So find a hostel with a pool and um, try not to spend any money <laughs> because there's two, so the, in Bangkok, I kind of went wild. And today I'm going to the Elephant Sanctuary, which the retreat has kindly offered to um, do for us, which is nice. But that's gonna cost like 1,500 baht, which is like 35 pounds. So um, I'm like, right, let me, let me reset my budget. Um, because I can't, I can't, like, I've set myself a certain goal, but also, like, I'm here, so I just want to make sure that I've got money coming back. So I've decided that I'd rather work, send contracts out, do some stuff for two days, and then I can relax for the rest of the trip, because I've got quite a bit to do, um, and it's kind of playing on my mind, so I want to be able to relax. But yeah, so this, I... Uh, yesterday we had a yoga session, um, restorative yoga, and it was really, really good. Yeah, it was a restorative session. We did a really good meditation. So I think I'm just having a light walk up here because I'm nosy. Had some really nice homemade pizza um, and this really nice salad. And I was quite full. So I'm trying to eat to when I'm full. Trying to be a bit more intuitive with my body, um, which is really good. Okay, so what is this place? So this is the True Nature Retreat. Um, they kind of run a thing throughout the summer, um, which is December, January, February vibes here. Um, I don't know if they do any longer. But I'll put a link in the description below. I'm paying £175 for four nights in that little tent. And the reason why I'm doing that is because it was the cheapest option. And it's kind of like a different experience rather than being in a hostel or a bungalow. You're in a tent, which just connects you more to nature. I slept really comfortably last night. A little bit on the cold side, I would say, just because should have closed the doors basically but I didn't realize there's vents on the side that's as well so I wanted like ventilation what is nice about Chiang Mai is that the temperature drops in the evening um there is looks like four four bungalows here that's a shared bungalows maybe one private um and there is um, all inclusive of food you get daily yoga meditation every day I kind of wanted like a retreat where it was affordable but also I could do my own self-healing so I'm not really in the mood to be talking to um, 
people as much. However, I have met some really nice people, which is great. But I feel like a lot of the time, especially in the retreats, I'll be spending a lot of time alone. Like after dinner last night, I only stayed till about half past eight. I went to bed, I was tired. I was like, man, I want to shower. The electricity went off just because I took a video of the cabling here in Thailand. It is so bad. Like, and no wonder one little crash can like literally offset it, but it was fixed within five hours. So, well, four hours. So it wasn't really too bad. So it's nice to have warm water this morning. Um, but I live in a van and like, you're cutting the jungle. So it's like, this is like my natural habitat, to be honest. Oh, but I'm so grateful. I'm like, every moment I'm here, I'm just like, oh. <laughs> I'm in Thailand, I'm in Thailand, I'm in Thailand. What the hell? This is amazing. So the crazy thing I was saying yesterday is Thailand makes me feel like, as soon as I got here, I, I was like, oh, the stress is gone instant stress reliever for me um yesterday in the yoga the um adam who taught the morning the evening yoga he was like doing restorative yoga and one of the things is like you're safe allow yourself to be present you've got no responsibilities just to be here and i was just like oh doesn't that feel good so yeah i'm definitely loving my body is like, gracias amore, you're so, you're so perfect right now. <laughs> yeah, anyway, I just thought I'd take do a little morning vlog. I've been so disconnected to even talking to the camera, to be honest. I've been adjusting to this climate. Um, but yeah. <laughs> Ginger and dandelion looks like a tea, which is really nice. Yeah. Coffee and stuff. I'm staying away from the coffee. Having like a four day coffee detox, I reckon. Um, my head just is banging. Um, you've got like a volunteer board over here, which is really cool. I want to do the eggs maybe tomorrow morning. Cool books. And this is like the eating area. challenging than it looks, than it seems. Fantastic. Bring the left hand down out beside you. With all of that length, wave forwards to the inside of the right thigh. Right hand can catch for the foot or the ankle. Long in the direction of the left leg. Continue to breathe. Well done. Three, two, and one. Okay, nice. Slowly come all the way back up. Wave those arms up again. Good. And exhale. Wave those hands down. So we
the fact yeah. that they're pregnant. Oh, Do you yes. know, make more. Come on, but uh, normally elephant eat about ten percent from how big they are. When they're pregnant, eat wow. more than ten percent wow. from how big they are. Okay. <laughs> Do they have to eat all day then? Walk, eat, poo poo, yeah. pee pee. Yeah. Walk, eat, poo poo. <laughs> they're just big babies. <laughs> they're just big babies. So have no fish. <laughs> we have a uh, three elephant people use about nine months for one baby. Mm. Elephant use almost two years for one baby elephant. What? But now baby inside seven months already. Mm -hmm. yeah. First time. Oh, today we uh, learn how to speak Thai with the elephants also. Okay. Because elephant they stay with the Thai people, Thai family. Mm -hmm. Thai family we use Thai language to speak with them. Okay. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. <laughs> Huh? You're, you're done with Jim. <laughs> yeah, it's a different kind Oh, of yours thing. is very well made. Oh, God. I didn't do a great job. No, you did great. Let's see which team wins. No competition. <laughs> <laughs> oh, inside? Ah, in the basket. She's the oldest? This one is actually the biggest. Biggest? By fern, by fern. Yeah, the oldest fern. one uh, over there, Bolo. Oh, wow. Thanks, Thank you. Come close. Yeah, come close, please. Yeah. Body. No. That's so cute. I can't. Pay attention to the guys. Yeah. Uh, you, you, you want to water to the elephant or water to the people? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah I think you can cross the elephant. Okay, we just finished the elephant. That was nice, short and sweet. I'm happy. Oh, that was so much fun. I'm assuming we put the stuff in here. I'm assuming. Yeah. Oh. Wait. Oh, the lackens.
So this is the 6th of February and I am checking out. I have been really sick for the last two days, so I haven't done yoga the last two days, which sucks, but it is what it is. Um, I decided, because it just, I explained more in the hotel room, but I've just been bumped up in my head. So I'm just packing everything up at the moment. Um, this is also where I stayed for the last three nights. Um, there's like a little fan, double bed, it's under this really cool shade, so it's quite, it's okay. Um, it was comfortable, it's just a bit cold at night. Um, the temperature does drop a bit and I think because again, I'm not, I am keep getting drawn to things that I don't stand in. My back's a little bit sore, but it's cozy. breathe for the first minute okay you got it keep that breath like it was before. all right well done just remember whenever you feel like you're getting a little bit challenged again come back to that breathing just had an ice bath which is nice and <coughs> yeah on our way on my way to Chiang Mai now I've got a hotel book for the Itzy Hotel Mokka Lai I'm really looking forward to it looking forward to just proper sleeping and relaxing <laughs> <laughs> 